Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we awakened Makar as the Sage of the Wind. And now we're about to enter the Earth Temple, but I just want to draw a little bit of attention to the music in the background. Give it a second. very very faint but it's actually the music from the Deku tree in Ocarina of Time so it's very very clever I like that it's this song is kind of opposite to the Earth Gods lyric Instead of ba 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 ba, it's ba 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 ba. Anyway, it's time for the wind temple. Again, I, I love that it's it sounds like the Deku Tree not green of time. It just makes sense. It makes me kind of wonder whether this is geographically where the cookie where that should be. It wouldn't make sense there. This would be more geographically where the forest temple should be. I don't know. But anyway. Come on. Let's go. Okay, so the big problem, as you can see, with Makar is that he is slow. Unless we have a different music now. Um, he is slow, but just like in... Uh, just like in the other temple, uh, you can command him with the command melody. Um, now let's get this out here. I actually need to... I think you can... No. Oh. We jump up here and put our boots on. Alright. Yeah, so that's ways to get back and forth. You. Leave. Give me a second, I just need to plug in the gamepad. Anyway, so as I was saying, you can use the command melody on, uh... Oh, to control him. And he has a few interesting features. First of all, he's really slow. Second, he can fly a little bit just like Medley. Uh, he's mostly good for flying upwards, but the main thing is when he's on these little mountains here, he can plant trees! Oh, how useful that is. I mean, it's actually a little useful. Um, let's see. Some pots over there. Whoa, bye. Now I think yeah, if you try to fly through this, it'll just push you down. I'm just going to leave him up over here for now and see if I can do other stuff to get to him later. Oh, uh, you got an orange ruby. Now... Since there's only one of him, that should be a little easier to do. Um, also, we can use the Stalfos' um, hammer thing if we want, so that's cool. Uh, now, we need to figure out how to get through that, right? So let's get up over here. Let's... We're gonna need that a bunch. Um, 
Now in order to stop this, I believe... Makar, there's a switch for Makar to stand on. Somehow he's heavy enough to push that down, I thought he wouldn't be. But... Oh. It's an interesting use of the, uh, of the iron boots, definitely. Just make sure you have magic. <laughs> Right, and in we go into the dungeon proper. Okay. Um. Yeah, these guys fight us. Being. Being on them, like, uh, targeting them doesn't seem to help out too much. Also, uh, keep Maycar away from fire. <laughs> He's, like, really, really susceptible to that. Is that gonna stay open? Better. Okay, little guy. Uh, what happens if I put you there? That closes that. You can go up there. Um, all right. Okay, so that was really close. Uh, first thing we're going to do, so that's adorable. First thing we're going to do is plant some seeds here. That's going to be like your main way to access things. Um, and it's going to be a lot more important as we get the dungeon's item. But uh, it's going to be, you know, as you can see here, a thing that's unlocked the door and stuff. Also, these trees are alive. Those are, like, seeds. As you can see, they're, they're actually, like, grown Koroks with faces on them and stuff. Slightly horrifying. Yeah, unlike Medley, whose, like, main purpose is to go distance, uh, he goes up. Mostly. Uh, is there anything we can do up here? It doesn't seem that way. Hmm. I think we're going to be coming back here. Um, yeah, I think... I think we need to... We need to be able to come up here on our own. As opposed to flying up there. Thank you, watch. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's a ground down there. I'm just gonna put him down for a moment, because I think that this is one of the rooms where you can find... Uh, not you again. One of these. Remember in the last dungeon I told you about the statues? After this dungeon, I'm, I'm gonna put down in my notes that we're gonna go hunt for the rest of them, because why not? I'm just getting this out of the way so I don't need to bring- I, need, I don't need to come back here with a, a wind tingle statue. I don't need to come back here with what's his face. Uh, keep those guys away from- from, uh, Maycar. Good idea, pro tip. Um, you can also, I think, float a little bit if you hold on to him and jump, but just like Medley, it's not, like, that great for a few purposes. Well, at least, well, at least put these here, though. That opens both doors. Oh god. Um 
Hey, car? Buddy? That's not good. Let's go rescue him. Yeah, they actually... That's supposed to happen, by the way. If you, you can't tell. Uh, they took him here. Or somewhere. Dovey, I'm over here! Yeah, so if the... Floor Masters get Maycar, he goes into little Korok jail. Dovey! This stone block's entrance seems really heavy. The only way you can move it is if you become heavy as the Great Deku Tree himself. Ah, if only the Great Deku Tree were here right now. I'm heavy. No. Can't do anything just yet with that. Uh, as you can see, there seems to be a target on its forehead. So, hmm. Exaggerated humming noise. Let's just kill these guys because I hate them. And we do not need golden feathers anymore. Uh, let's get our bombs back out for them. Hello. Right. Beat up all those posers. And... Well, it seems like there's only one way for us to go for now. Hopefully we'll be able to come back and rescue Maycar later. But, I don't know. I don't hate Maycar. I just... I find a lot of this dungeon to be annoying because of the fact that he gets captured like that. Like, I'm glad they didn't really do that to Medley, like as the damsel in distress trope. Uh, again, I should say, but um, it's it gets kind of annoying in this dungeon. Did that need to be blown up? No. Okay. Um, so let's look around this room. We have another one of these grates. Hey, hey, kid. Hey, hey. Oh, come on. I guess I was supposed to use a dodge on that. Oh, and it puts us out here. That's me. Oh, and it, res it respawns the enemies, too. I don't care about you guys. Ah, anyway, yeah. So this is gonna be this dungeon. This is why I did it second, because I like the other one a lot more. <sighs> Alright. Alright! Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay. gonna play it that way we're gonna play it that way so I guess I guess we're playing it that way Son of a bastard. where are you where are you okay all right where is it What you get? Jerk. So we're gonna need. I'm gonna put the boots on R. I don't really need the pictograph there anymore. Uh, let's see that. It's gonna be shut. Is there a reason that? It, uh, let's, let's see if I can just kill this guy now. Do not want to bother with him right now. Okay. Let's. Let's get this treasure. A joy pendant. All right, I forgot to say there are seven chests in this game that are not uh, in this game in this dungeon that are not keys or anything of the sort. So keep that in mind. Um, is there any... Okay, we need Maycar to go beyond there, but at least let's still keep going this way. Okay. Oh, 
ho, 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 you messed with the wrong kid. That's right. That's what you get. Uh, alright, alright, alright. There's a chest over there, so let's... Let's go for it. The wind isn't really going to be in any particular direction uh, in this dungeon, so I don't think that you can direct it either, so don't bother. What do we get here, though? You want to be the math? Oh, yes, indeed, it is the dungeon map. Let's go show you guys the map. So, yeah, three floors. As you can see, there is a central chamber where my car is. And that's going to be the main source of our frustration! Hooray! I don't, uh, I... Scully? Scully, what are you doing in here? It's not safe in here. I, I generally don't like dungeons that have, like, a central chamber like this. Uh, Snowhead is always kind of annoying to me. Um, the Wind Temple, uh, not the Wind Temple, the Water Temple in, uh, Ocarina. Um, because it usually means if you fall, you screw it up, and it just requires lots of backtracking. Um, but that's just me. Again, it really, it really depends on it, like how well the game does it. Like a game can do it well, and a game can do it really poorly. But in this case, I don't enjoy this dungeon because uh, it also involves Makar, and uh, while the kid is sweet. Um, he's just, <laughs> he's a liability, for lack of a better term. Um. Let's get into the wind. I'm sorry, Scully, but I'm going to have to kill your family here to try to get some magic. Thank you. I didn't, didn't want to do that, but... Missing. Take that. At least, at least, um. Come on, game. At least I have 90 arrows to use for this. I was gonna say, at least I'm being semi accurate, but no. There we go. You're a little closer. Bottom. And hopefully this is all leading somewhere that I can find some sort of tool to rescue my car. Let's get that. And that opens up the sub level. Basement one, as it were. Um oh. Let's, uh, I think we can burn that off. So that's open now, and, yep, time to go down. I see a treasure chest over here. The way to get back up seems to be uh, using all these uh, platforms here, so... If you fall and you miss stuff, that's what you gotta do. Anyway, we got the compass over here, thankfully. Uh, so we're on B1 now, let's take a look. So yeah, obviously we're not getting to the boss just yet. Got a lot of stuff we gotta uncover. There's a treasure chest by Maycar, and whole bunch of other things. Uh, there's also going to be two treasure charts to find in this dungeon, as usual. So, that's locked. Which means this is our only path at the moment. Oh, you don't. No, you don't! 
is a very mean looking uh very mean looking spikes. Okay, I got all of them. So what it seems is that I'm going to have to push this into an area that benefits me. Seems to be back here. And push this here so that I can actually get to it or get onto it. Wonder what those little armos are there for. If they're just gonna stay statues or something. Let's jump up over here. Of course, if you want, you can always just, you know, brain damage. Got a small key. Thankfully, that just disarms the uh, the trap here. Uh, but there seems to be a spot for another treasure. So let's go back down here and see what that's about. Can I destroy you guys or something? No. Oh, I see what I gotta do here. Alright. So I think what I have to do is cover each one of these panels. We got these three guys plus the two in the back there. So let's just drag everything around. It's too bad that uh, since this dungeon can be done out of order, it doesn't have any um, accessibility with the... Uh, power bracelets, so you can't just lift this stuff up, unfortunately, but, oh well. I think this is what you're supposed to do anyway. It, it kind of looks like it, that's why there's five, right? It would make sense anyway. <laughs> just because it makes sense doesn't mean it's right, though. There's something else to do down here? I don't know. So, time to break our head. Come on. Uh, hmm. Oh, it wakes them up, doesn't it? Uh ha ho! How interesting. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, but I wanted to do it anyway. Wait, so that doesn't kill them? Do I just have to break all of these or something? Okay, okay. It's a very interesting puzzle. So each wrong one, or just each one in general that I break, is gonna summon enemies and... Maybe? Once I break all of them, it'll summon a chest. It's kind of neat. It's weird, but it's kind of neat. Okay, so these guys aren't even necessary. Uh, but let's try to... Okay, good. Since the spikes are down, we don't have to reset the entire puzzle to get back there, thankfully. 
Uh, but what do we get? We get treasure chart number 35. Awesome. Okay. Let's just ignore all those enemies and get out of here. And now that we have a key, we can go across the room. Where I'm sure nothing of any consequence awaits us. Not in the slightest. Nope. Nothing of any kind. Oh, not a whiz rope. Hey, you look different. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is actually, first of all, uh, Gold's Dark Knight, if you want to, uh... If you want to get a picture of him. Also, if you want to get a picture of the boss, uh... Let's just get some items out here. Uh, if you want to get a picture of the boss, that's probably a really good idea. Uh, the boss's name is Summoning Dark Knight. Surprise, surprise. He summons enemies. Uh, like... Like our, uh, Golden Dark Knight right here. Go, go! Where are you? Yeah, so try to hit him with uh, fire arrows because those will do a little bit more damage than regular arrows, I'm pretty sure. And there we go! Is that it? That's it? Beautiful. Yeah, an interesting boss. It kind of turns into a mini boss gauntlet if you if you let it. Um, yeah, lots of fun little rare enemies. Let's pick this up and give that a toss. And what do we get for our troubles? Oh gosh, we're at 30 minutes. <laughs> the hook shot! It extends, it retracts, it latches onto things. What a cool invention! Yeah, so now we get the hook shot. And how exactly are we going to use this fabulous new invention? Find out in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.